I need Mo! Okay, the one on the left. Here we go. Ready? I, I was hoping you would pick that one. Oh, it what? Did you see it? Yeah, I looked at him. You're a cheater. I know. You honestly can't play anything with Michael. That's true. That's a warning for everybody watching. <laughs> okay, the big reveal, you guys. What are we cooking today? Chicken tikka. Tikka, tikka, chicken tikka. I actually don't know what this is. Well, it's, it uh, sounds Indian. It sounds spicy. I would say, it, yeah, it's probably Indian, yeah. Aren't you so glad that you're watching a live stream cooking show with people who have no idea about food? No, we do have some. We, we love have to some. eat it. We have some. We love to um, eat it. Let's see the ingredients here. Let's dive on into this bag. Well, here's the bag. You want to show them the yes. top-down view of the bag? Um, well, I want to uh, just maybe... Yes, okay, so here we are. Fresh prep in our beautiful, um, you know, eco-friendly, non-plastic bag. I wonder if they've taken our feedback on board about not using so much plastic in their packaging between yeah, now, last week and this week. They're really listening to and us. And inside, ooh, fun times. All right, let's dig some of this mumba jumba out. Okay, uh, coriander slash cilantro, bang, done, expert. Um, Oh, like a pre-sliced cucumber. Bang, done, mate, expert. We're going to eat this. Please don't. Um, yogurt. Bang, it? done, expert. All right, all right. You've had enough, mate. You can sit down. You're good. I am Let's go. Let's do excited. it. Let's do it smart. Tony! Tony is my not my number one. Who's Tony? <gasps> He's my uh, actually God. happy belated Tony. It was oh his birthday God. yesterday. They went to a beautiful birthday dinner at Black and Blue. And unfortunately, we couldn't attend because we had other engagements with uh, Michael's Stand up, yes. but uh, yeah, um, fun times. This is another bag. Thanks, of, uh, Tony, for tuning in. Bag of blood. <sighs> also, no labels. Yeah, they don't so label this stuff. Uh, we're just gonna uh, wing it. We're which gonna is, wing it. it, <gasps> it Alexa. Sorry. Wait, we're Start just, wait, no, 30 no, no, minutes. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? We haven't started there anything. No timer set. Don't start a timer. Ooh. Relax. We haven't even got through the things yet. All right. What are you doing? Well, this is what people do. That's not testing it. We'll just immediately fail. I think that's a couscous. Maybe. This is something. Ginger? Garlic. This is uh, something else. Oh, we should do one of those. Uh, oh, yeah, that's ginger. This is a tomato paste. Oh, it smells That's so labeled good. for some reason. The onion that's your blood. is not. More of this similar? It might be stuff? like a make a two per person or make a four serving. So maybe they have accommodated four. I don't think so. Both options. I think those are different. Also, why is the cucumber like. Why? Why is it half cut already? I'm so excited to learn about this. Okay, yeah, all right. Pepper. Here we go. Looking, looking good. What do we got? A spice and blend. And the spice blend. That's kind of the most important part. That's the actual part that makes it chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Wait, no. That's oh, you got the instructions. Sorry, I didn't know if we had the instructions out before you. You want to check that the bag's empty too? Throw it away. Well, last week you threw out the yalapenos. I didn't throw out the yalapenos. I bet you there's going to be something bag. missing today as well. Empty bag. All yeah, right, here we go, fair. guys. Let's give this a fair Chicken fair. tikka masala. And raita? Raita? I can't pronounce that. I'm Rita. not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Raita. Uh, it might be the, oh, with, oh, sorry. Let's say the whole name. Chicken tikka masala and raita with florist Canadian grown golden quinoa. Where what? is it grown? A in, a, in a florist. 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 Maybe florist is a place for all those crazy Canadians out there. You can confirm or deny. Um, all right. Is Are it you a ready flower? to start the timer? Mate. Yeah, all right. What do you want? You're, we wanna... you're always complaining that I'm rushing, and now today you're just like, Wah! let's get it. Okay, let's go. Alexa, how long is it supposed to take, too, by the way, to do this? 30 minutes. They're all 30 minutes, I'm pretty hmm. sure. I don't know that one. You'll learn. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Alexa, start a timer for 30 minutes. Also, I'd like to point out that it is very handy that there is a chicken. It didn't do anything. And, oh, it didn't? Alexa, don't ignore me. Start a timer I'm for... I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I'm here and ready to help. I'm sorry. Alexa, start a timer for 30 minutes. It's a little aggressive. It's weird. 30 minutes, starting now. Thank Alexa you. yelled at me. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I'm also excited that there is a um, chicken... Oh, I have it upside down. I'm like, why is it blurry? I think it tells you like that this is a meat dish and that there's dairy in it with this chicken uh, egg carton, milk these, carton. These things? Yeah, symbol. So that's kind of cool. Like that's handy. The time is going. What are you doing? I'm showing the people what we're uh, what we're going off here. Started. So these are our dir directions, our uh, destructions. And uh, oh, apparently we're going to need to find chicken somewhere probably in the fridge. 
Oh, allergens listed. Very smart. Very, Why are we at the time of the way? What are you doing? Very millennial. Fresh prep. All right, Michael. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> ah! uh, what does this mean? Prepare and marinate the chicken. Read it, please. I don't know how to read. <laughs> okay. All right, Michael. Move oven rack to the highest position and turn oven to broil. Broil. There you go. You did that last week, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember how to do it. Amazingly. I'm going to find some chicken in the fridge because we need chicken for chicken masala. No, what, we're not doing what, chicken masala. What temperature am I putting it on? Um, I think broil is one temperature. It's just broil. I, I, I hit broil and then I press start. Sure. If there's any more instructions, I don't know. Okay, now we need to line a baking sheet with foil. So a baking sheet. This is fish. I wanna, I wanna point out. Okay, we'll put that one back in the you don't fridge. Need that part. Here, right. Put it on here, doofus. Oh, we're gonna leave that one. Okay, so we're you don't gonna need be that. cutting up the chicken. Oh, the other option was fish. Drain the diced chicken we breast. Do you wanna had do that? Fish. Yes, I will. If you uh, Keep find the oven rack, yeah, I think you skipped a step. The oven rack's in the oven. Boom, done. Bum, 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 Drain diced bum, chicken breast. You're looking for scissors? No, I'm looking for an oven rack to put the chicken on that we assume we are probably going to have to do. That's not an oven rack. That's like an oven... I mean, that's an oven rack, but I think we're going to have to put it on a pan or something, right? I need oh, somewhere yeah. to put the chicken. All right, anyway, keep going. I have a sure. knife. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yo. <gasps> probably shouldn't use scissors. I'll use a knife. Who is it? Is it Geo? Just watching it? <laughs> Jess? Hi, Jess. Jess. And YouTube. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Harry Potter lovers. That's unfortunate that you like Harry Potter. <laughs> Michael, do you have any Harry Potter facts for us? No. You never wanted to go to station seven and three quarters? Is that what it is? Can I read the instructions? No, thank you, nine and three quarters. <laughs> okay, dice the chicken breast. <laughs> yes, okay. And pat dry with the paper towel. You can probably... I don't know if you need to pat it dry. <gasps> you know what? Because they love us so much, we already have diced chicken breast. Look at that. That's not diced. It says diced chicken breast. What? So move on to the next step. Yeah, we Gucci. Okay. We uh, are cut Gucci. Cut any large chunks into smaller pieces. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Absolutely. So Mom dice. Says hi. She's here. No. Mom, I didn't know if you got my message. Mom's tuning in. Hello. Thanks, Mama. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what are we doing? In a mixing bowl, combine chicken, half of the spice blend, a drizzle of oil, and Salt and pepper to taste. Also, I'm going to do this here because mum would be so proud that I'm touching meat I'm right now. Move this out of the way. Yeah, yeah. She okay. would be so proud you're touching meat. Sorry, go on. I'm going to be Phrasing. dicing um, these into smaller pieces. And what are you doing? I'm reading the instructions. You keep cutting me off. Um, massage spices into the chicken into a bowl. Okay. Where's the bowl? Smang? In here. Second drawer. Oh my god. We're all good. Which color? Oh, purple! Yeah, purple? Yes! Here we go. She loves her small cutting boards. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the other... Well, okay, all right. I know, I probably used the one that are props back oh, here that we're not it. supposed to use, blend. but okay. Half of the spice blend, which is this guy. Okay, so I'm putting that with the chicken? In the bowl. Okay. Uh, with half the spice blend. Okay. A drizzle of oil. Okay. And salt and pepper. Okay. At your discretion. If I guess. you find me the drizzle of oil and some salt and pepper, then yeah, this will be found in the, the oil bowl. last time. I don't know where the oil is. Kay. This place is like. I'll do everything. Mains. No, I think it's just like just because I have chicken fingers. I think it's the top of that just, one right there. I think I put a, put a chicken finger in my eye. How did you haven't even ah. touched chicken? How did you? How is that even possible? No, you have to push on it. What? Push on it. I have to push on it. You didn't do oh, that last week. Oh uh, my god. I'm also. Michael's learning. So Michael's know, learning. Michael's learning. Russell says good day. Oh, hey, Steve. Mike from Stephen Glenn Cairns. Oh, hey, Glenn. Cairns. Hey, Glenn. Cairns. Uh, hi to our fellow Cairns uh, family. That's my nephew and my brother-in-law. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, so. mom is at work, they say. Oh. But Glenn says, good day, Uncle Mike. Aww. <laughs> she says, you need my cutting board. I guess. Do we know Gail? The big. Yeah, Gail's her mom. Oh, Gail, Gail's oh, I found uh, yes, Gail, we do need your big wooden cutting board, Please I know. Mom, Gail. Sorry, I was like uh, contextualizing it for all of those that don't know my mother. This is a drizzle of oil. Uh, just a drizzle. Oh, Matthias is um, laughing That's about perfect. you reading instructions. Uh, him thoroughly. <laughs> my reading of instructions entertains Matthias? Okay, all right. Well, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. We're going to vinegarize this because chicken, ew. 
um, and salt and pepper, and then that's good. What's the next step, Mikey? Mate, um, we haven't even done this step. No, we got to move like more than what you know. We can multitask. We Where's can. The paper towel? If we just do one thing at a time, it'll probably be smarter. Mate, the definition of multitasking is not one thing at a time. With you, we have to do one thing at a time twice. <sighs> okay, all right. Oh yes, half of the spice mix. I'm gonna find some salt and pepper. You? Why are you washing your hands, man? You're rubbing this in. I'm Guys, today it. it's Friday the thirteenth. And uh, I would love to know. It's like Actually, it's not in Australia, the most is it? Easily distracted partner in the kitchen. I don't think that. Uh, <coughs> I think it's the 14th in Australia. Oh, look! I found some salt. Massage into the chicken. Could be sugar, but all we're of these risk things. It. Lay chicken pieces on a baking sheet. Place baking sheet under the broil for. Oh, it says to wash your hands well, but that's like way after. What? That's like at the end, it says wash hands well. Oh, well after you've touched chicken, that's probably why. I should tell you to do that before, like you could have... Well, both. It probably does you, say you to wash hands before. You could have gross butt hands. I do like a little bit of pepper, but that's okay. Lay chicken pieces on the bacon. It'll be there spicy. Is there is pepper? Yeah. Okay. Pepper grinder. Oh wait, it's disguised next to the hello sign. Isn't it oh, right next there? To the, oh, it is too. That's not even really disguised. I'm just having it's a warm moment. It's just a regular moment. old pepper. Yes. Wait, is it electric? Listen. That's magic. Rich people stuff! <laughs> oh my god! I love that! Um, okay, so we need to get a baking tray somewhere. Now, where would they be if I. That's enough of that. Okay. Do we have a baking tray? We have to hold it in there with our hands. I checked the oven. It wasn't in the oven, but there's probably one. I mean, we could always put it in that pot, that one. That, yeah, the cast iron pot, right? Because. Yeah, it's not that much chicken. We probably could. Um, like it's not, it says just put the chicken on there. Check for everywhere if there is supposed to be one though, I guess. One, I think there is one? Yeah, look! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, and fun colours. Because live at Bento never fails to disappoint. It says put... <laughs> <laughs> we always disappoint. We never fail to... Never uh, fail to disappoint. expectations. Um, should I massage this in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, but we need baking sheet. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw some of that, I think. Where? Yeah? Sorry, yeah, just uh, check those Down drawers. Down here? Possibly. Oh, you guys, okay, this smells... Uh, like raw oh, chicken? so good. No, can you not smell that? It smells like Indian. That's a little... Uh, <laughs> what? No, it smells good. Like, you know, Indian food. <laughs> they prefer to be called Native Americans, Alicia. Michael, Michael. <laughs> okay, no, this is smelling and tasting and sounding. Is this it? These are napkins. I think these will go on fire. Yeah, they're going to burn. That's alright, we could probably just uh, grease it. I don't know if we can grease it on stick, but... Oh, do you need foil? Yeah! Uh, it I says baking foil. paper. Right in the drawer. In the, in the drawer. Top foil drawer. is fine. Foil's Foil great. is fine? Top, top drawer. Top drawer. Top drawer. He's yelling at me. Oh, it was the one where Alicia was blocking. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? I'm here to make your life harder, never easier. Okay. And then we... This guy oh, I 100% guarantee you there's probably turmeric in that spice mix because my hands are yellow. You know you're going to be putting that on here. Putting what on where? Like oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'm just getting it out of my... Out of my nails. Alright, I'll let you do this. I'm going to go on to this one. Cook quinoa. Okay, this is step two. Cook quinoa. R rinse and drain quinoa in a fine mesh sieve. Yes, sieves. Sieves? We saw a sieve. We saw a sieve. You have okay. a sieve? You guys, I feel like we are on fire. We are killing this challenge. There, right there. Oh, actually, you're not, this one. I was like, you can't use that strainer. There you go. I'll use this one. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna put this chicken in here. Is that what it said to do? Add quinoa to pot with one and a half cups. Yeah, you read this. I don't know what you're doing here. Um, quinoa. Okay. okay. It says drain the quinoa, but it's dry. No, no, yeah, you got to still rinse it. Rinse and drain quinoa in a oh, fine mesh leaf. Just rinse it, yeah. Oh, I see. Um, and then we need a pot with one and a half cups of water. And oh this God. is going so well. Do you guys want a fun fact? They're not even food facts this week, I noticed, because I sneakily read this one before. What is it? Hey. Tell me. Michael, did you know that a comet's tail always points away from the sun? Well, yeah, if it was coming towards the sun, I guess, yeah. Why is it? Well, the, the sun's got all the gravity, so that's why that's what makes the comet have its orbit. No, the tail points away from the sun. Yeah, because the sun is where it's heading, because it's always heading towards it, because it's got like uh, the orbit around the sun. That's why Halley's comet comes past every like seventy odd years, because oh. it keeps orbiting the sun. So the tail would be behind it, because it's like 
That's a very scientific fact for our uh, nerds out there. All right, okay, here we go. Um, chicken is good. Nerds. Um, like lay pieces on baking sheet, place baking sheet under broiler for 10 to 12 minutes or until chicken has some color. Are we allowed to say that? Until chicken has some color? I guess. Well, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that without, uh... We'll just leave that one there, that's okay. Um, 10 to 12 minutes though, I don't know how to set this timer. Uh, uh, well, I, I have a phone, a it's all good, I have a phone. I'm gonna put a t 10 minute timer on here. Yeah. You can set two timers on Alexa? As many as you want. Super fancy. Well, okay, let's try it. Alexa, can you please set a second timer for 12 right. minutes? Why do you say please to the machine? Second timer, 12 minutes, manners starting now. Manners get you everywhere. Nah. Thank you, Alexa. When it takes over, it's not going to care about your manners. <laughs> You'll be the first to go. <laughs> okay. Add quinoa to a pot with one half cup of salted water and bring, bring to a boil. Okay, oh, see it should have told us to be boiling water ahead of time because we're getting on top of this multitasking thing. We could have been boiling the water by now. We have pots and somewhere they're in a drawer here. Where are the pots? They're Wouldn't gonna they be... be in the last place that I look. They're guys, gonna we have be. 11 viewers I just wanna point out. Well, That's fantastic. Uh, Thanks for viewing, guys. Thank you for all the 11 viewers out there. Where are y'all from? I feel like only five of them are probably family and friends, so. Yeah. We've got to have some. Oh, here's one. Okay, We've that'll do. We've got to have That's some. Uh, uh, okay, so we need. Uh, what are you guys all up to for Friday the Thirteenth? Tell us. Tell us. One and a half cups of salted water. Did you turn this one on already? Oh, thanks. The Cheers. one that's on yeah. is the one that's on. Gotcha. Uh, cups. Yes. Okay. I have a thingy here. We're gonna put one and a half cups in. Reduce heat to low. Oh, that's after it's boiling. So we just have to get this water boiling. Uh, it one says cup. to add the quinoa and then bring it to a boil. So I guess oh. you can add the quinoa. Okay. Now. So I add suppose. some salt, add some quinoa? Yeah. That's what you're telling me. Add a little bit of salt. Yes. Okay. Yes. Add a little bit of, oh, where did I put my funky salt shaker? Yes. Am I cleaning up as I go again, like a good little cook? No, you left a bowl of chicken grease here. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's, got, that's gonna be washed, that's cool. Okay, all right, what, what's happening next? Okay, begin cooking, that's step three. Oh, I really made a mess of this. Have you begun cooking yet? Wait, yes, I'm cooking right now. Okay, it says begin cooking. Okay. Heat a large skillet over medium with two tablespoons of oil. We need those little tablespoon things, don't we? Oh yeah, we do. All right, let's get another fact while we're going here. <laughs> uh, ducks will only lay eggs early in the morning. I don't know, wow. I don't know if I... Uh, <laughs> That's interesting. <It's> really <laughs> I wonder, uh, I wonder you know, why that is. We almost need to uh, have the have the why to these crazy, crazy ideas. Because the ducks, they get up and they get shit they done. Like Matthias thinks you should just ditch the instructions. Ah. Yeah, I know, right? You think it's so funny because you'd be like, if I just add all this together, it'll probably taste okay. That's a risky little game, Matt. A risky little but game to we ditch the instructions. Are testing if these are actually good based on what we got, so we kind of have to keep the instructions, otherwise... That's true, that's true. Otherwise... Chaos ensues. Yes. Um, what are we doing here? Oh wait, there's a skillet right here, I can turn this on. Yes, for those just tuning in, it is obviously supposedly simple, our little cooking show, so... Nice. We have to test nice. that these supposedly simple meal kits are actually all they are cracking up to me. I need a pan to go... Yeah, pan, you need that skillet thing, right? This one? No, I think it's, when it says skillet, we can use any skillet, right? Like it doesn't need to be any pan? like a cast, a cast iron, iron skillet. Okay, well how big do you need? I would say all of this stuff might be going in it. Okay, so, so probably maybe the just biggest give me the one, yeah. Okay, there you are. Thank you. You're welcome. This is our lovely pen. I like it. Purple it's like, and green. It's kind of like that retro 50s look. I like that. That's always something I like. It matches your shirt really well. It does match my shirt very well. <laughs> uh, and I need uh, a couple of things of oil. Oh yeah, you put the oil, yeah, you've got it. This is extra virgin olive oil. Am or as Alicia to... likes to call it, a nerd. <laughs> Don't laugh at that, Gio. Don't laugh at that. It took me way too long to get. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Did you know... That's the problem. You, you're overthinking the joke. <laughs> Wait, how many tablespoons of oil? It took engineers 22 years to design the zipper. Like the, the, the clothing zipper? Yeah, and did you know that one company basically makes like... I don't know what the percentage is, but it's like 80% of the world's zippers. It's like one company. They have the monopoly on the zippers. Yeah, and it's, it's a Canadian company. It's a Canadian company. Is it? There you go, Canadian company. Canada, eh? Taken 
all the zipper They monopoly. say you're a little slow, but you're not. All that, that sweet <laughs> zipper money. You're just zipping. You're just zipping. The Australians, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Like yeah, on The Simpsons, they make fun of you guys for being slow in Canada. And, yeah, and on Canada, South Park, eh? they make fun of you guys for being slow. Yeah. And having like weirdly split open heads. Because we came off so well in The Simpsons as Australians. <laughs> <laughs> Your toilet splashed backwards. <laughs> or whatever that was. How are you impressed? That was British. Season six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're heating the oil. Culture as you can see here. Uh, oil has been on, on the heat. Uh, then we add the onions, garlic, ginger, and tomato paste into the skillet. There you go, it's already pre-diced and sliced, you're ready to go. I'm gonna guess this onion shaped stuff is the onion. Give uh, it a smell, double check. I don't know, onion doesn't have a smell, is that real? Did I make that up? Um, I think, oh yeah, maybe before it gets cooked. Because that's what, you, if you give someone who's got a blindfold on an onion or an apple and they bite one, it's like the same taste or something. That's something we should put to the test. No. <laughs> that is something we should put to the test. You know. Tune in next week. Oh yes, absolutely. Get rid of that gross bowl. Okay. When the months went by, you want to grab a sweet. spatula or something to stir this too, Leash? Of you... course, I can find a spatula. This is uh, sizzling away. Sizzle, sizzle. That's that's what I was gonna say, but I didn't. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. we have some uh, but then, uh, controversy. Here. Well, the zipper is a Canadian invention. Okay, oh, so the okay. zipper is yeah. allegedly a Maybe Canadian invention, it, it, but don't, don't take away our zipper. Fact check, right? yes. Okay, we're fact, we're fact checking the uh, zipper controversy here because we have conflicting arguments. I'm with Matt because I read that as well, but. Ramy thinks that the Canadians invented it. No, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, Ramy. Oh, I was gonna say. Yes. Okay. And uh, what else am I adding we to this? We want to make sure that the Canadians garlic, invented it, but the Japanese ginger. own the monopoly. Garlic and ginger. Okay, uh, this two, is right? this is probably ginger. Oh, yeah, that's ginger. What Add it. The scissors? Well, it's added, what so that's the what we're doing. Go to this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just put them away. Um, we're clearly gonna need scissors for the yeah, rest of this YKK leash. makes ninety percent of the world. YKK makes 90% of the world's zippers. There you go, 90%. That's a lot of zippers. Imagine, why would you even enter into that business to try and compete with that? Because you might be able to. They've been doing it for you so disrupt long. Disrupt the industry. Yes, yeah. disrupt the industry. What are you, you coming up industry. there with, like, with a button halfway up it or something? And you're like, Ooh. check this out, guys. This is crazy. Velcro? Velcro. I hate to break it to you, Rainy, but the zipper was invented by Whitcomb J. L. Judson, who was an American inventor from Chicago. The zipper was invented in Stop. Chicago. <laughs> Did he ever visit Canada? Yes, okay, yes. Invented in Chicago, the invented zipper. Invented in Chicago. That's fascinating stuff. That's something you all learned today, that if you didn't tune in, you'd be walking around ignorant. Share some Australian inventions, Michael. Uh, the rotary clothesline. The hills hoist. Is that what it's called? Yeah, you guys don't really have those ones here. You just put them up on your balcony, though. Kind of. Savages. Savages. Out of savages. No. Australia has lame inventions. We I invented think we invented, a, a no, we invented the lawnmower. Didn't we invent something like the lawnmower? No. There was some other outdoorsy weird thing no. that we invented. We invented the black box. Like for airplanes? Yeah. Oh, there oh you go. wow, there you go. We invented the black box apparently. We invented getting skin cancer before you're 40. <laughs> That's brutal. The sun does that to us, hey? <laughs> uh, we invented drowning after a full meal. Guys, we have three minutes <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> We have three minutes left to get this meal on the plate. Okay. Heat a large skillet, add oil. Yeah, tomato paste. Tomato paste. We have oh, to we add didn't add one. the tomato paste? Ah. Um, cook for five minutes until soft and fragrant. Okay. Meanwhile, Michael, prepare Rata, which we don't know what that is. Wash and chop cilantro. Rata. What's Rata? One of these things, I think. Okay. It looks like yogurt to me. Yeah. Alexa, what is Rata? One Canadian dollar is worth 0 0.75 US dollars. That's fantastic. Perfect. Thank you so that's much. Perfect. That's so helpful. Yeah. No, that's, I really needed to know the currency conversion rate. Thank that's you, great. Alexa. Thank you. So if I need to fucking... Language. It's all right. We got this. I think that it's a safe, uh, a safe assumption that that's probably it. Because everything else we know what it is. So okay. that's probably it. Well, there's two bags, though. Matthias wants to know that this is food and, and your shirt. 
come in the same pack? <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. Thank yes, you. this is a combo package, Matthias. Spoon, pen, shirt, available at every Old Navy now until September 30. Um, also, it's an important thing to know that uh, Ozzy's invented anti magpie helmet. There you go. That's not an invention. That's just uh, that's full an invention. Uh, no, someone has a, licensed a, that. A, a you haven't seen those helmets? It's a helmet. I'm sorry, they haven't seen them. I thought that they maybe. I'm knew trying to explain what, they were. what it is. Oh wow! I thought everyone knew what they were. Amy okay. Shepherd said, "Raisa is a cucumber and yogurt." Thank you, cucumber? Haley. And. Haley just told us what Rita was, a cucumber and yogurt mix. Okay, so that answers so many questions. All right, here we go. Okay, one of these is cream and one of these is yogurt. Which one do you think is which? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to have to smell or taste test. Yeah, but they're liquids, so I don't really want to open them to do that. Things just got interesting. I think this is the yogurt. I'm going to bet that's the yogurt. Oh, okay, all right. I'm going to bet it. it's the other one just Yolo. to play devil's advocate. Wait, no. Yolo. No, 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 no. You don't add it to this. What am I adding it to? Then? I don't think you add it to this. Just meanwhile, prepare the thing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Wash and chop. Wait, where am I preparing it? In a bowl? Give me a bowl. <laughs> Come on, mate. You can turn that down. I think. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I think I just did. It was getting a bit hot. Hot out, in the out, kitchen. I think the bowls were in. Oh no, maybe you had it right. Was it this one? I don't know. No, I think it's that one. Yes. No, no, this one, so I can I like match. the green. I want Matt to say that I came in a cool set, too. I think this color would match you better. Yeah, let's do that one. I don't think it's going to fit. It'll fit. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is smelling yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's yogurt. Okay. That's yogurt. Give me a taste. I don't know. It looks like sour cream. It's yogurt. Okay. Ooh. You're going to have to put Ooh. cucumber in this, so I hope that ball is... Yeah. It's going to be great. It it's going to be Trust fine. Me. This I'm is going to go... Let's see, Peanut Gallery thinks it smells amazing. All right, I'm going to read ahead because we have 52 seconds. Uh, place grated cucumbers in a fine mesh sleeve and press out as much liquid as possible. Oh, what the heck? Mate, you can't just jump ahead steps. I didn't. Prepare Rita. Wash and grate cucumbers using yeah. a box grater. That's the step we need to do first then. <laughs> oh, okay. I gotcha. So we have to grate them. Um, we need a grater. I, did, I thought we were just going to have to chop them up. That's craziness. I've never like juiced a cucumber. Is that even possible? I'm not asking you to juice a cucumber. You I, it says squeeze liquid out of it. What is the definition of I juicing? Give, come on, mate. You're, you're ridiculous right now. I'm looking for a grater. All right, you can do that part of it then. Here we go. Okay. Grating some cucumber. To okay, juice mate. That cucumber. Do chopsticks help? I can't help you. Here, oh. Boom. Problem solved. Hey. Bang. This is why women don't want men in the kitchen, because. They get everything solved. I'm glad that timer came in at the perfect spot. Okay. Oh, the second timer. That was only the second timer. What did I set that for? The thing. The thing in the thing. Oh, the, the chicken. Oven. The chicken. The chicken. The chicken. The oven. Okay. Here we it's go. It's on fire. Okay. Am I grating this? What am I doing? Um, Michael also. Haley. Haley, help us. What do I do with this? Do I grate it into the yogurt? I'm confused. That's Michael, a big glaring gap in the in the instructions. I think it says in the instructions. Thank you, Alexa, for the timer and reminder should I wash that we the cucumber sh first? are not great at this. I found it in a bag. I should probably wash it, right? Yeah, rinse it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Alexa. It. Both timers are done. It? We what failed. Are you doing? Why doesn't anybody help me? Thanks, Alexa. Alexa, that's enough out of you. Well, you're gonna have to squeeze the water out of it, so you probably have to do it separately. Your no, it's Alexa. Says, Thank you. Stop. Wow. Using Aggressive a box grater. Place tonight. Grater cucumbers in a fine mesh sleeve. Your the fire station's about to tune in. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> oh, my. The fire station's about to tune in. Fantastic. Says, do it. Just grind it in there. Wait, into that thing? Yes. Haley, is that how it goes? No, nah, I'm listening to Haley. She's, oh. she's in charge now. Let's go. Okay, I do trust Haley. Haley is actually an amazing florist on the Gold Coast. For those of you that live on the Gold Coast in Australia or in surrounding suburbs, she's an amazing creative florist. Uh, weddings, events, functions. Uh, she's at a lot of the markets there. Please check her out. Um, at Huckleberry Flowers. Uh, that actually She has an Instagram page. That's probably more important. If you want to check out her, her business, her Instagram page is amazing. At Huckleberry Flowers. Yeah, you, you can't just say at Huckleberry Flowers. Sorry. Be like, I, what, is that even, what is she talking about? Guys, like, is it even the 21st century? If you don't know what at is, it's her Instagram handle. I apologize. Oh, my God. Okay. Leash. Sorry, that smells really good. You're Did you turn that completely off? 
Babe, I'm trying to talk and you just keep screaming at me. Okay, I just think, I don't think we should turn it completely off. There we go. All right. It's not off. What are you talking about? Okay. Also, I forgot what we're doing with this quinoa, but it's cooking away. It, you're just letting it cook. When it gets soft, then it's good Was to go. Was I supposed to turn it down from high heat, though? I don't know. Oh. Maybe, like, one of us should be in charge of the instructions. I, well, I tried to give you the instructions, then you gave the them back to the me. The only reason is I feel like with quinoa, if you boil all the water out too quick, um, it doesn't cook uh, properly, and then it's, like, crunchy, and it's supposed to be soft. At some point, I have to give up on this cucumber, right? Like, I don't just... Like this bit. I think you I should maybe really... consult the um, consult the uh, instructions again because I don't really. Here, let's have a look. Okay, you guys, we are well behind. Well behind. Wash and grate cucumbers using a box ah. grater. Yes, the liquid part we're skipping over. In a bowl, combine cucumber, yogurt, half of the cilantro, and half a teaspoon of the remaining sp spice blend. Okay, so half of the cilantro. I'll get that going for you. I'm just gonna check this chicken. You guys, the chicken smells phenomenal. So good. Oh, it looks white. It looks great. I'm going to turn the oven off and keep it in the oven because ah. nobody wants to eat cold chicken. So good. I wish you could smell. Ah. I wish you could smell. Yeah, you had like smell a vision or something. Oh my god. I bet you like Amazon Prime's probably coming out with that like next month. Smell a vision. Smell a vision. And that's what they would spend their money on. Smell okay, okay, this is boring for everyone to watch. Let's get another fact. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a fact, apparently. Okay, that ad up. just came up. Get out of here, ad. All right, whatever. Um, if you guys never want to run out this? of space on your phone, try Google Photos for free at the App Store. Download now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to fun facts. Coconuts kill more people in the world than sharks do. Approximately 150 people are killed each year by coconuts. What? 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 You put the outrageous. lime in the coconut. Yes, we are outraged here at the Bento that's Kitchen. That makes because sense. that's a lot. Not that many 150, people. that's almost one every two days. Yeah, but maybe like... By a coconut. Yeah, but you don't know what the coconut, what the guy did to the coconut. I mean, that's also true. <laughs> Maybe he deserved it. No, no Katie one deserves is to die. I'm feeling nervous about what she told you to do with the cucumber. She's regretting telling you that. She's what? Like, she's feeling as though she stitched you up with the cucumber. <laughs> Haley stitched us up with the cucumber I'm info. Idiot stitched no, up. it's going to taste amazing. It's cucumber and yogurt. How could that go wrong? No, I believe in you, Haley. I believe in you, Michael. Also, strangely, your mom wants you to know that her and dad will do turkey and ham this year again at Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You guys have Canadian ham. Turkey at Christmas! Yes! Oh, I'm getting really hungry. Oh. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's keep going. We're missing one half of the tablespoon of remaining spice blend. You oh, guys should know Australian Christmas, Christmas is the best. Do, do this. Get this for me. More people are killed by donkeys than by coconuts. Is that? I'm gonna. Matt thinks. Okay, so our friend Matt thinks that more people okay. are killed by donkeys than by coconuts. We're gonna have to fact check that, Matt, because I trust you. Matt is a doctor. He is very smart, but he's also German. So, you come out with all this weird, like, cultural, <laughs> like, all the fuck the Canadians, fuck the Germans, Alexa, fuck the fucking. How many people are killed each year by donkeys? And then which step are we up to? You can direct me now, I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay. Wow. Jenny's also worried. Jenny strikes, she thinks Haley messed you up. Oh no! Well, this is what we have now. Jenny thinks so, that, I mean, like, that's kind it of... It looks like something you'd see at an Indian restaurant. Yeah, it looks yogurty and cucumbery. I Jenny, don't know if I was supposed to use my hand, I think it'll hand, taste good. Jenny's a little concerned, but... Little Jenny, thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate that. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I think I'm supposed to add something else to this. Kay. Alicia, ha, ha. All right, here we go. Combine yogurt. Uh, did you add half the spice? Half no, of the remaining spice blend? That's the part I told you to tell me to do. Okay. All right, well, that's what we're doing. Add oh, half the remaining spice blend. You monkey. I don't really know how much half is. That probably looks like half, right? That's good, yeah. yeah. And then I mix it in with my fingies. I mean, I don't know why I decided to use your fingers, but we're at this point. Because so I was we're trying to get your going. attention, but you kept yelling at the Alexa thing over there. Uh, and then season with salt and pepper. No, it just says season with salt, actually, which we put the lamb in. How the much salt is in this meal? This yeah. Is seasoning. Everything and is I've salt. added a lot just for giggles. That'll probably do. Okay, um,. Once onions from step three are soft, add remaining spice blend to the skillet and stir to combine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up just slightly again so it gets a little bit spicy in the kitchen. And then we're gonna add the remaining spice blend. Oh, there's pepper flakes. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. I mean, Great. this looks like something that you would Break see. Break two, okay, I'm gonna add, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna that. skip ahead. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, you guys, that was the 30 minute timer. We're not that far behind. We're halfway through step five and there's only six steps. We are killing Wait, this fresh prep. Which spoon did you use for this? It's like completely dry over here. This one. 
There we go. I did turn it down though. Can yeah, you? that's fine. That's perfect. Oh, Keemar's oh, looking golden. No, 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 step five. Sorry, ste oh, halfway through step five. Oh, okay. Halfway through step five, and there's only six steps. And six, step six, I just peeked ahead. We're halfway through step five, and only have uh, one headache so far. Okay, Alexa. Thank you. Stop timer. You know, you just say Alexa, stop. Well, I just have to be polite to it. Okay. Uh, remaining spice blender skillet skirt. Add diced tomatoes. These ones. These are the diced tomatoes. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, you do. I don't want to put my fingers near that scissors. Okay, add diced tomatoes and then we are going to one cup of water. Michael, would you like to grab one cup of water? I'm gonna actually get a real cup this time. What? Using oh. A real cup. Not cup use of your water. hands this week, hey? Alright, okay. Adding the tomatoes, water, and red pepper flakes. It's gonna be a In spicy here? In meal. Here? Add like it, this? add it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, turn it up really high. I feel like that's a lot of water. Yeah, we're gonna dissolve all that water. It smells great though. For well, those at home, it smells great. It doesn't really smell like anything right now. What are you all cooking tonight? Share, what's going on? What's happening in the world of the web and YouTube? Do we have any YouTube people? Uh, no. Okay. Ah, just one. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. Just one. Jess. Just one. Yeah. Jess, thank Jess you. Jess is still Thanks watching for on hanging YouTube. in there with us. Jess, we appreciate you. She probably walked away from her screen and has just been playing. <laughs> she forgot that she uh, had it on. Okay. Good old Jess. Whoops. Bring to simmer, stir in cream. So we're going to bring this to a simmer, then we're going to stir in the cream. Oh, we've got to add the chili flakes. To what? To this? Yeah. Heck yeah. We're getting spicy up in here. What about the cream? We have to wait for it to simmer. With all of this in it. Oh yeah, baby. If this tastes Chicken bad... Chicken tikka. Fresh prep. I am thoroughly impressed by this one. Like, to be honest, I feel like you may have nailed it. Nailed it. If this tastes bad, I can directly blame Haley. Okay. Oh, Haley has no blame in this. Uh, and it won't taste be fresh prep. Just add chicken it back won't to skillet and continue to simmer for another five, ten minutes. It won't be uh, Alicia's to fault. Okay, this is going to be great. It will be okay. Haley's fault. Oh, you've turned this off. Okay. Is it cooked? Are you talking to me or talking to yourself? I don't know. You, sorry. This is cooked. You tasted it? I'm going to taste no, test this I didn't do any of those things. The Canadian florist, uh, what was it? What did it say about the florist quinoa? Uh, florist Canadian grown golden quinoa. It's really hot. Yeah, I yeah. can imagine. You put a lot of a hot pot. I mean, it's a little bit crunchy, but I think it's going to be fine by the time we serve. Okay, let's do another fact here. We're just sitting around here. Your mom wants to say to you, remember the yellow hands last year, Leash? Yes, okay, so my mom and I tried to do ginger turmeric shots. And guys, don't try to juice turmeric at home. It does not end well. It's a very um, <laughs> <laughs> staining spice. I think my hands are still yellow from it. And the juicer never recovered. I'm sorry, Matt. That was your juicer that we borrowed. <laughs> and they broke it. We didn't break it. Well, it's just yellow now. It's broken now. Well, okay. This is going to be sourcing up. Michael, do you want to grab the chicken out of the oven? Why'd you turn it down? It's not doing anything. I turned it up. Turn it down, mate. That's the up way. This is maximum. Yeah then there's no room to go up from here. That's because I turned it to maximum. Here we go. Okay. We are literally just waiting for this. I'm going to stir in the cream. What am I doing with the chicken? What did you and ask it's going to be great. Um, we can probably take it out of the oven because I think we add it to this according to the last step. What are you talking about? Heck yeah. Um, wait, guys, oh. there's two people watching on YouTube. We have two people watching on YouTube. Right. No, I'm doing myself. So there's three watching now and all one of them. Okay. Look okay. at that. Incredible. Incredible. Excellent. Just incredible. That looks great. It really does, though. It smells good, too. It looks like a really bad science experiment. Oh, a really tasty chicken tikka. Sure. Yes. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, you've had enough of this. Okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> um, so that's going to heat up, then we're going to add the chicken. Is that all we're waiting on the chicken? I don't know if I can tell if it's ready, though. What if it's raw? What if I die? Oh uh, no, it's, it, was in the, it was in the oven for enough time and I checked it. Add chicken back to skillet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, add it to here. How? With my <gasps> we top it with this Raytar. Okay, I'm going to taste your little Raytar over here. This is yogurt and cucumber. Yeah, that kind of sounds amazing. Well, don't eat it. Some cilantro. Why can't I taste it? Ow. Gah! I don't know if you did a good job stirring this with your fingers. Oh. Uh, Run it under some cold water, yeah, you'll be cold fine. Water, quick. Man. Yeah. Yeah, you do this. This hurt me. Well, I don't know how. Uh, All right. Gloves. Yeah, no, do we, we don't. Do we have like a thing? This is exactly yeah. enough. I don't know what happened over there, but this is perfect. Okay. I'm going to add this uh, beautiful 
chicken back to oh, the pot. Oh, look, it's starting to simmer. It's starting to bubble. Okay. Let's make sure it's broken up a little bit. It looks incredible, you guys. What's another fun fact, Michael? Hit us with it. Uh, this one I don't like, so I'm just going to skip it. Okay. Oh. I'm going to ask Alexa some random questions, too. Wait, Alexa, you didn't answer my question before. Alexa. It didn't know. How many people have been killed by donkeys this year? Okay, let's move on from this nonsense. Okay. All right. No, I don't like that. I do want to find out, Me too. Yeah, I'm keen right. to know. Thank you. Gio is on the... We got the donkey the bandwagon. Let's uh, let's see where that goes. Stay tuned to find out how many donkeys kill people each year. <laughs> this is playing another ad over here. I don't know oh, why. Oh, what we got this time? Oh, it's, it's a TikTok a, ad. Yeah, it's a TikTok ad. Uh, Get out of here, you. Okay, oh, guys, we're we getting go. some this good a, simmer here. Is, uh, okay. Okay. It would take more than 150 years to drive a car to the sun. I thought it would kind of be more than that. Yeah. Well, it depends on what speed. I guess it would it would just take 149 years to figure out how to drive a car to the sun, and then. And then one year to get to the sun. One year to get to the sun from that. <laughs> Maybe in one of those like uh, Back to the Future cars, you know, the DeLoreans or whatever they were. The time machine. So then it would take less. It would take minus time to get. To no, the sun. because if you went back in future, no one's ever been to the sun, so it's not about time travel, is it? Whoa. Well, the space time, time, time and continuum. Space and time are the same thing. They're like they're connected. So. Hey, the nerds are getting in on this gravy. Ugh. Okay. This is Every like time I say any amazing. any sort of fact, anytime I say anything, Lisa calls me a nerd. It's like no, a defense to being like to being like, ah, nerd. I bring up all the facts all the time. Alexa can do jokes too. Alexa, give us a joke. You have to ask, please, I told you. Why not. can't you surprise Darth Vader with a gift? Why can't you surprise? You can always sense your presence. Oh, presents, presents. Yeah, that's oh, a stretch. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a pun. Is that a pun? I guess it's a pun. Is that punny? Yeah. Okay, let me rephrase that. Boodum chick. Alexa, tell us a good joke. Where do donuts go to get away from it all? Timbuktu. Oh, like Timbuktu, but Timbit. That is a very oh. Canadian joke. Alexa's Canadian, now we know. Alexa is Canadian. Oh my that's god, terrible. that's hilarious. Michael, we're almost ready to dish up. Let's get some plates going hey, here. There are no facts about people being killed by donkeys. Yeah, Matt, I don't know if then you're, you're accurate there. I feel like maybe you've led us astray. I'm what sorry. Are we, what are we doing? Oh, wait, wait, I might have found something. Oh, hang on. False alarm. Donkeys kill more people annually than plane crashes or shark attacks. <gasps> donkeys kill more giraffes. people annually than plane crashes or shark attacks, but not giraffes. Apparently giraffes have it out. 200 people die annually in plane crashes. Right. 40,000 deaths from automobile accidents. Oh, that's a lot. Whoa. We're just talking about death now. This is what we thought it's we'd do Friday with the It's Friday the channel. 13th. It's Black Friday. What else do you talk about? Friday the 13th was, uh, the, is the day because that was the day that the Knights Templar all got murdered. It was on Friday the 13th. It was like 11... 28? Who were the Knights 80, Templar? Or was it 13, 11, AD? One of those two. Back 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 in the Middle Ages. And that's that's what was like the first ever Friday the thirteenth, I think. Where did I put the sponge? Was the night that they killed all, all the Play it up. Off. All right, let's do it. Let's play it up. Let's play it up. Let's play it up. Well, with what? Get some plates. Get the quinoa, mate. Get the oh, plates. Plate get the nothing. quinoa. Here we go. All right. Haley's meal of Reiki and chicken cream. No, what is it? Rater? Rater and chicken tikka. Rater. Rater. Okay, so we've got some plates. Oh, Let's. Oh. Sorry, what? Guys, Sorry. Uh, hate to burst the bubble, but. Oh no. They say it's a myth about the donkey death thing. I read further in the article. They said no one, there are no statistics anywhere, so no one can prove that. Okay, here you go, Matt. Matt. We just found out that it's a myth about the donkeys because no one actually has any statistics on that at all. That's Dr. a shame. You Dr. made an Matt. ass out of yourself. Oh, no, dang. That was good. That was Dr. Good, right? Matt let us down. That's a shame. Or he was just also fooled by the internet trickery. That gets everyone every once place? in a while. Yeah. We had a bunch before. They're right here. Oh, I don't think those ones. Those are the black ones. We need bowls. Behind we need, us, we need bowls, us. doofus. Oh, you want to do it in a bowl? It's a soup thing. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, this is a better bowl. Okay. Yeah, These that's are like, clean. That's like a mixing bowl. They're clear. I like the clear ones. Here you go. All right. All right. Dr. Matt says he has statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Matt isn't letting this go without a challenge. Okay, okay we're, we're plating it. up now. We're plating up. You guys got to tell us who plated up the best. Although, that being said, it's probably going to look the exact same because it's in a bowl. Yeah, maybe we should have done plates just to keep it like... Oh, there's cucumber and stuff. You could add garnish. Yeah, maybe we should do That's a plate. That's true. I still think do this it. is... Um... Let's get a plate. No, no, do the bowl. Let's let's like oh. be challenged by the bowl. Let's lean in Nobody to the bowl. Nobody ever gives Thanks. a plate up challenge on any of that kitchen madness nonsense or whatever it's called. Oh, I bet you I'm going to make mine look different they to yours. They never use bowls. And I bowls. think I'm like zero for two of this plate up challenge, but... I feel like, oh, am I? Oh god, okay. Zero for two. Also, Zero for two. guys, you have, um, this week we've created a uh, judging criteria for you. A yeah. judging criteria. Oh my god, here we go. Here we, we go. Forward, we will be take, keeping track to find out who actually gets the high score. Okay, okay. I love that. Or Oh, the, like a plate up judging criteria? No, no. Oh. Oh, for a meal prep plate up criteria. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be scoring meal prep against a criteria now. We can probably turn this off. Oh, you've done? Did. Okay, did. sweet. Yes. Come on. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go. Should we do the scoops and all that noise? Yeah, dish up. Okay, let's do it. This is me doing it first. As you can see, good hand uh, motion. And this. Hmm. Make sure you do all the soup. And then you lap it up. And then do a little bit in Alicia's. Ah! <laughs> oh, sabotage, sabotage. Like that? Okay, all right. Here we go. Get all the flavors, get it all and in there. And then we want to put this on the top? Mate, put it wherever you like. It's your plate, it's your dinner, it's your fresh prep. We'll win this, you watch. We should have kept the timer going just to see like how long it actually took us. Again, we were very distracted and, you know. We? We! <laughs> we are a team. This is not a competition. Well, kind of. Is it? Kind of a competition. <laughs> <laughs> that looks beautiful. Get Michael, out of here. Well I don't done. need your sympathy boat. Well done. I'm going to like just drizzle mine down the middle. Slash blob it down the middle. Yeah. Dr. Matt wants to know if you can get these meal kits in Australia. You can get some. I, can we get fresh prep in Australia? Yeah, does anyone want to verify that? Oh, Fresh Prep's fresh prep purely Canadian. Local. Okay. Well, the one we're doing today, Matt, Fresh Prep, uh, you can't get in Australia. But uh, HelloFresh you can get in Australia. HelloFresh you can get. Yes. So that one, stay tuned because we'll be reviewing that one. All right. Also, um, please confess that Dr. Matt actually created the fake, fake statistics. Thank oh. you. Okay. Well, that would explain I suspected so much. that he uh, probably created a fake statistic around the donkey. Like Ew! 50% of stats are made up, right? Yeah, right, right. That's literally, <laughs> I've heard that. Yes, a large number of stats are made up, so. The joke is that you made up that yes, stat. Yes, exactly, 100%. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know I was going along with the joke. <laughs> All right, here is my beautiful dish. Let's put them side by side. Let's vote. Okay. Uh, Michael. Hey, I'm not done. Can you relax? Get out of here. I'm trying to do my thing and you Mate, yell. I'm hungry. And we've gone on for like an hour. Mate, I'm making I'm a half an hour meal. All right, well, I'm going to add some salt and pepper because we haven't added enough salt and pepper. Ta -ta -ta -ta. There we go. Now I'm ready. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Now I'm good. I'm going to add some pepper. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ooh, okay, guy, vote. I broke the pepper mill. But yes, please vote. Here we go. Here we go. This is uh, whatever Alicia tried to do here. And this is a face. A little face. <laughs> I think you always try to do a face with yours. It doesn't work. I think we'll. Work. I think the voters will let us know. Alicia's, Alicia's, no, Alicia's is pretty good. Like if you went to a restaurant, or like if you were at home and you were served A or B, which one are you gonna send back? I would send back. Like if I was at home, I think if somebody gave me a nice face, I'd be like, that's lovely. That's no, beautiful. No, like Thank honestly, you. there's clearly a winner in these two. I think. Wow, they don't look amazing close up, but I know they're going <laughs> to taste great. This one looks great. I don't even know where the your iPhone face camera is. Isn't as good as <laughs> yeah, the iPhone camera doesn't look uh, quite as good. All right, let's do a quick taste test. Let's. Uh, yeah, we have one more food challenge after this too, so we're going to do a quick taste oh, test. We have we're going to do the food challenge. challenge. Well. Yeah. Okay. There and is. then also, yeah. Okay. What is this criteria that we should be doing? Is it on this? Is it on this or no? What okay. Criteria for what? Criteria. The criteria. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it out when you guys are. Okay. okay. All right, let's go. Let's mm. taste this. <gasps> oh, I did put it on there. Okay. I'm gonna get some cilantro in there. I'm gonna burn the shit out of my mouth. Here we go. Mm. That was too much cilantro. 
By the way, Steve says who doesn't want a face in their food. <laughs> That's right, Steve. That's right. Everybody. You went to a fancy restaurant somebody gave you Brody a... Brody voted for Michael. Who did? Brody. Well, Brody, you're sleeping on the street tonight, you know aren't you? Brody? Brody is my sister's boyfriend. Uh, okay, okay. Who is now an ex-boyfriend. So... <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Check yourself, Brody. Check yourself. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's one vote to Michael. I'm still waiting on someone oh, to vote for me. Two votes to Michael. Steve and Brody. Oh, mother, mother of God. I Steve. Think my vote, though, this week. No, Thank no. You. We had Gio just give Alicia a vote. That's not fair. That's like, <laughs> that's like insider trading. You can't do that shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you for the support, though, Gio. I appreciate it. Matt, Mum, Lauren. Haley, Nobody, no, no, this anyone is, else I'm you waiting on your votes? Beg for votes. Anyway, by the way, this tastes amazing. It really does. If you guys are thinking about this, like this is fuck, fucking great. Like mm. I would give this uh, like a good four, four and a half out of five. The flavors of that spice makes like a like no, sensational. I need to give you guys the, this here. Okay. Time for the criteria. We have also, criteria to actually judge this on. You, Thanks, no. mom. Mom so voted for me. One vote, one to two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can actually okay. put on narrative. Here, here we go. This is the criteria. Was it good value for money? We didn't pay for it, so yes. No. What, what did it actually cost, though? What did it cost? Uh, that is about, I feel like, between $10 and $11 a portion factor. Is that what it is? Per yeah. meal? Yeah. Per meal? It's about $10 or $11. Uh, I guess if you were at a restaurant, that would yeah, cost more. Yeah, because it made a lot. Like, if that's two meals, that's a lot, I guess. So, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 10 to 11 that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Okay, I'd give that about a 7 for value for money. Oh, I'd give think? it a 9, so I'd probably go 8. A 9? Eleven dollars for a meal eating out? We're not eating out. We're eating at home. Had to cook this. Yeah, yep. that's true. Yeah, but like you would, <laughs> if you eat out, it's more expensive. Okay, let's go seven. Hey, All of right, course seven. It's more expensive. Okay, sorry, yes. Ridiculous. By the way, your dad voted for the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alicia's dad voted for the cameraman. Dad gives Raimi the vote. Okay, yes, absolutely. He's a He's big film a buff too. Stellar so job. Likes that stuff. Yeah, no. Yes, absolutely. Okay, question two it, right? or criteria two. How clear were the instructions? I would say not clear because it said prepare re rate. Of, I don't know what that is. It yeah, but that might just be our ignorance around cooking um, uh, Italian, cooking Indian food. And so the instructions were not clear. Yeah, I would still say it was probably a six. What? It, no, no, a five tops. Well, let's go five then. I feel like that's very harsh though. But okay, we'll do a five. We didn't uh, know how was. easy was the meal to make? This meal was super easy. I'm going eight for this. Like, yeah, honestly, it was pretty easy. Yeah, exactly. It was super easy. As long as you have somebody that knows what you're doing on Skype to tell you how to do it. As long as you easy. have a Haley. Yes, absolutely. Was the time allotment accurate? 30 minutes. Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, I'd if say you're, yeah, if you're not having to narrate it. And you know. I would say, no, I would say that actually if you were doing this by yourself, because there's a lot of stuff that like, make sure you're doing this at the same time and you don't know that until you read it. Um, I would say it's probably more closer to 40 to 45 minutes than 30 minutes. That's fair, I would say, yeah. Close, but like not super accurate. So would we do like a seven? Yeah. Seven, okay. Seven on also, time. hold on. <gasps> One more vote for Michael's dish from <gasps> Jess. What? From Jess. Jess. Voted for your dish. She likes the face. Is that Jess oh. on YouTube? Jess on YouTube. Jess on YouTube, you're the best. Yes, feel Thanks free so to come much back. For tuning in. Maybe I'll incorporate some faces. You can follow us on Facebook uh, at Live at Bento, and then yes. it'll tell you whenever we're doing this, which is every Friday at the same time. So. Yes. Anyway, let's move on from all the accolades. <laughs> your mom said, uh, excuse me, talking with food in your mouth? I'm oh. sorry. I'm oh. sorry. You're on the wrong show if you don't like curse, that. Curse, I'm sorry. Curse, curse, yes. Slap, 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 slap. Talking with food in our mouth is kind of most of the show. <laughs> <laughs> How fresh were the ingredients from zero to ten? I think everything was pretty fresh. Like, honestly, this isn't dead. The cilantro is not dead. The cucumber smelt fragrant. Like, the yogurt wasn't off and curdled. I mean, the cucumber had a couple of marks in it, but that might have been just, like, any cucumber. Yeah, I'm going to nine. They were fresh. Yeah, pretty fresh. Pretty fresh prep. Da -da -da. Another vote for Alicia. Who? Thank you. Two to three, Andrea Phillips. Andrea, thank you. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. Who's Andrea oh, Phillips? Um, Andrea. Andrea is gonna send us. Remember we talked about the grater. About oh, the grater. Yeah. Yes. The orange peeler. Welcome peeler. back, Andrea. Oh, thank you. An orange, orange zipper. An orange peeler. She's gonna send us one so we can try it. That's amazing. Oh. I'm very excited to try this orange peeler. I wanna, I wanna know. I wanna know how it works. How did the meal taste, Alicia? Oh, for sure. Like. 
I'd give that a nine. Yeah, that's really like, good. Like that's a solid nine. Like I, I put, this. but then I'm like, I don't know what I'm critiquing about it. Like, why is it not a ten? Why is it not a ten for you? I've had better. I don't love quinoa. Yeah, that is, so that's a ten criteria. Is it the yeah. best thing you ever eat? Yeah, okay. I'm not in a that huge instance, fan I of would quinoa. go nine. Like yeah, yeah, nine. nine. Okay, if it was nine. done, if it was done with like a like a brown rice or something like that, maybe it'd be higher. Submit. Haha. -ha. So that's our criteria now. Okay, so I honestly, yeah, I think that was very, very decent. That was very good. Do you prefer this to last week's, or how do you, how do you, how do you rank it? Last week we had enchiladas. I don't know if anything beats enchiladas. Mm. That's a preference-based oh, thing then. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Keep yeah, the yeah. vegetarians happy. Absolutely. Vegetarian, no, thank you. Mm. No, this is great. Mm. Um, okay, let's do this challenge. This food challenge. Yeah. Should we move this out of the way somehow? I'm well, let's, maybe we should see what the challenge is. Do we need to? Well, it's ugly. Okay. Let's move you too. Because <laughs> you're ugly. I'll let you wallow in that and feel bad about it. Oh, I don't feel bad about it. I was kidding. <laughs> everybody, everybody relax. Everyone, okay. Everyone in the room audibly gasped when I said that. <laughs> Cutting cherry tomatoes. This is our challenge this week, guys. We have like two minutes. No, we don't have a time. But having, okay, have two plastic lids or plates that are the same size. I don't, I don't have either of those things on me. Two plastic lids that are so the same. Lids where you can take plates, maybe the large ones. Take the large plates, Michael. Good work. Um, put a bunch of cherry tomatoes on one plate. The large plates? Yeah, sure. What about the small plates? Would that work? Uh, probably the... Just do the large plates. I don't know plates. the challenges, so I'll plates. just do large. Yeah, yeah just yeah, trust. Yeah. Let's go to these guys. Large. Yeah. Whoa, a flat bottom. What the, is this it, These challenge? black plates have a flat bottom. <laughs> Something's off. Uh, oh. Okay, all right. Um, I wish, I, okay. Um, okay, oh, so this is a crying when you eat onions challenge. So apparently, you know, there's what a, are, there's a. Oh, know, we have to eat onions? Oh, man. Physics thing related to cutting an onion and crying. Um, so basically we cry because of a gas released by the onion. It's a protective measure to stop from being eaten. So onions have a uh, protective measure to stop from being eaten. I cry when you release gas. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's nasty. Okay, put a bunch of cherry tomatoes on one plate. Are we doing two at the same time? Well, maybe we shouldn't do two at the same time. Well, yeah, I'm confused. Is it the same challenge? challenge? Two two. So we need two plates. So, so there's the onion challenge. Okay. Uh, which is whether if you chew gum. Oh, well, let's just do the tomato onion. one then. Okay, got yeah. you. I thought they were the tomato. same one. This is the tomato one. And then the gum. This is a beautiful looking tomato. So my apologies, wow. we're doing a tomato challenge. Look at that. Look at those. Oh, That's insane. Are they rich people tomatoes? They are. They're rich yeah. people. Urban, people. Fair urban Fair tomatoes. Fair. Urban Fair tomatoes. Which we are doing next week, Urban Fair Kits. Urban Fair Kits next week, guys. Next week, guys, tune in, same time, 7 p.m. All right, Leach, come on now. Find out what rich people eat. Find out what rich people eat, Urban Fair Meal Kits. Apparently rich people okay. just eat cherry tomatoes all day now long. Now put the other plate on top to sandwich them inside. What am I doing? You haven't told put me what I'm doing. Put the tomatoes on the plate. How many? Maybe. A bunch, it says you a bunch. Put the plate flat, so use the bottom part of the plate. So, so flip squish it. it. Um, so yeah, flip it, yeah, and then put them on top there. But you have to take the green out. Yeah, okay. This is, this is, see, Geo is helping me from off camera. <laughs> Lisa just screaming at me to do stuff. <laughs> I'm reading the directions, man. Put a bunch of cherry tomatoes on the plate. A bunch is like, what, like six? Sure. What do you think? Yeah, use the whole vine. I'm running a flat surface. Oh, that's though. fine then. That's yeah, that's good, enough. that's good, yeah. okay. So um, put a Perfect. bunch of cherry tomatoes on the plates. Now put the other plate on top to sandwich them inside. So the bottom part of the other plate. And we're, what, squishing them down? No, no. Them, no. Just, just holding, them, oh, holding okay. them, sandwiching them. Now like that? grab yeah. a knife. Yeah, grab a sharp knife. Okay, at least don't run at me. I have a knife. Okay. But make sure you hold the plate. So hold the hold plate. The, hold I'm holding the plate. Yes. While you cut hold it firmly. Oh, I slicing across? Yes, yeah. so then it says cut through all of them at once. Oh my god. And what am I doing? Just cutting them? Just go slow, but cut through all of them at once, holding it firmly, sandwiching them in. Here we go. Look at that. All right, this might be working. How's it feel? I feel like you're at a very dangerous spot there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the camera, the risks, the stuntman. This is better. What am I doing exactly? They're trying to cut them in half. <laughs> what the f what kind of a challenge is this? <laughs> Dude, it's supposed to be easier. It's supposed to be a hack. Oops. Um, I don't. This is this. How is this simple? It has so many more moving no, parts than a regular a what chop. Happened. I squished oh, them. Oh, I think you pushed too hard. I did it because this guy got away. <laughs> Maybe so. the, the, lids, the Tupperware lids are better. Maybe lids are better. 
but not not to waste them. This seems ridiculous. Yeah. So oh, ridiculous. To be honest, it. they're cut in half. That's true. Like, now they'll great. be a good little add <laughs> to our like meal. They actually got cut in half though. They did. To be honest, yeah, some of them did. I don't know how this is quicker or easier than so regular cutting. So not super cutting. simple, not super clean, but. I don't I know, agree. it works. How long does it take to cut those? Exactly, yeah. probably the same amount of time, if not less. You can have one too. Thanks. Okay, next challenge. We cry because of a gas released by the onion. So what do we do Here with these plates? Is... I'll wash this. Okay, so there is a now. hack to not cry whilst chopping onions. Chew gum while you cut. The other ones you can just talk about, but we're only gonna try chewing gum. Ah, so we're gonna try chewing gum while we cut onions. To see if we don't cry. I'm a massive crier when cutting. Then you cut too. the this onions. This makes me so nervous. Okay, I'll cut the onions on my fancy little chopping board that everyone gives me critique for. But we're gonna do it over here. Okay, don't move knife behind. I got a knife here. This one's. Oh, it's covered. It's yeah, it's kind of contaminated. Don't. Okay, here that. we go. Chew gum while you cut. Where am I gonna get some gum? There's gum here. Oh my god. Two types god, of gum. So prepared. Two one. types of gum. No aspartame on one. No aspartame. Sands. Sans aspartame, let's go with sans aspartame. What uh, is does aspartame? Have to... The devil. Oh. The devil. Okay, I'm going to um, not start chewing until I start cutting. Okay, here's a beautiful onion. Well, chew chew now, new. Oh, chew now? Okay. Yeah, you want to be chewing it as you're doing it. That Here we go. That's pretty good. Cutting an onion. That's your show right there. Also, takes me back to my, like, um, what do you call it? Grade 8 home ec class. This is how you dice an onion. Well, how I was told. Cut it in half. Actually, no, I apologize, Dad. You taught me how to cut an onion like this. For tuna mornay, which my friends in Canada didn't know what it was. Okay, then you peel it like this, take the skin off. I apologize if you hear me chewing the gum, but it's part of the challenge and I'm committing to it. Peel the onion off and that's where <laughs> we get all the juicy flavors. They can probably hear me chewing the um, food. Probably, and then we're gonna dice it really fine like this. But you don't go all the way through on the one end, right? Because you want it to stay together somewhat as you dice, not like that, but. And you're then we're really, gonna go the other way. You're gonna walk that in though, you gotta actually smell it. Like get down there and sniff well, it. Well, I mean, like that's not Normally. part of it. Yeah, yeah like but as like, a normal person, you wanna see would if this works, right? So you gotta get right in there. Yeah, you're just trying to. <laughs> yeah. Smell it. And then we're gonna and dice I'll do the, the other I'll do way. the control test. I'll smell it with no gum. Yeah, that's a good idea. You cut the other half with no gum. No, I'm just going to smell it. This is a smell. Is it based on a smell? It's a gas that's released. It's a gas that's released. Okay, so I guess the gas is smelt. Oh, oh no, or like, I guess, no, yeah, it would be felt in the eyes. I'm getting dizzy. I'm not really... How are you feeling when you share? Are you smelling? I'm not, I'm not crying. Like... Wow. Like, no tears. Come down here, come down here, come down here. There's lots of tears down here. Wait, are you actually tearing up? Yeah. It's all those forgotten birthdays. Oh my god, there we go. That's uh rat in the eyeballs. It worked. No tears! What? No tears! Is... Johnson and Johnson are gonna dive on this one. <laughs> no more tears. No more tears! That's crazy, that actually works, because does that actually st oh yeah, you yeah. have yeah, you're watering. You're watering, where's this? Yeah. Let's check that There's out. A lot of other hacks don't put that so far. I don't wanna put that in my face. Yeah. <laughs> I think that worked. I think that worked. You're crying. Whatever. It's okay. Who cares? <laughs> no, cool. but like well diced onion and um. Yeah, I want to try this one out though. That worked. Do you want to try it chewing gum though to see if it's any different? I guess I don't know if you're already contaminated now though. I want to see if it tastes like an apple. Oh. How am I going to do this? I blocked my nose, right? That's how no, you do it? No, this isn't going to work because you all, you already know it's an onion. No. Yeah, 100%. Next week we'll do the onion slash apple. Yeah, let's do the onion slash apple next week. We're going to do it week. next week, okay. So there's a theory that if you bite into an onion or an apple unknowing of which is which, then they both taste exactly the same. So the premise is obviously you can't know ahead of time which is which. So we'll put that to the test next week. Anyway, guys, thank you so no, much. No, 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 what are we, we got the other ones here. We're just read them out. Oh, we're going to talk about them? Okay. Other hacks for not uh, crying while you cut an onion. Dip the onion in water occasionally while cutting. I have heard that one actually. Soak it in water before you cut it. And uh, I don't know, it like disables the gas or something. Light disables a candle. Light a candle, sure. Get very zen with your onion. It's like you're trying to seduce the onion. Um, turn on a fan, because it's gas 
Well, yeah, if it's a gas, I guess that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, that fan. makes sense, yeah, turn on a fan. I don't know how hard or how high or how close this fan has to be, but there you go, guys. Life hacks for how to not, uh, not cry. cry while Maybe cutting an onion. Maybe you could also just not be a pussy. Supposedly simple. <laughs> Says you. Yeah, but I was right up in it. You were gay. I was fighting the guy. Fighting it, yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So fresh prep this week, amazing chicken tikka. Uh, tastes amazing. Great uh, instructions, not so much on Michael's end. No, they were. They could have been better. On my end or on the instructions? Well, you, I feel like, yeah, you were the one that was like, I feel like they were a little unclear, so. I that's feel like fair. they were massively unclear because one of the steps was like, if you didn't know what it was, which I didn't, mm. you didn't know what to do. That's so true. that's. That's fair. It's not necessarily suited to plebs like us who don't cook uh, Raker all the time. Raker? Yeah. Raker, Rater, sorry. Who don't cook Raker all the time. But overall, amazing taste, right? Yeah, it was really good. It's yeah. a win, yeah. Amazing, good. Uh, yeah, but guys, same time, same place next uh, next week. 7 p.m. Friday, Canada time, PSTD. I don't remember what the thing is. PST. PST? Pacific Standard Time, PST. And I'll have uh, PTSD after watching it. But <laughs> a little bit of PST. trauma and never hurt nobody. This week, this week on Tuesday, we're going to have best thing ever. This week on Tuesday, PTSD, we're going to have best thing ever, which is Geo and Geo's sister amazing show, um, reviewing funky things and finding out about foods and just the best things ever. What the best thing ever is. So tune into that Tuesdays, what time? Uh, seven? Seven-ish, seven around this time. Seven, six thirty, seven thirty. make sure you're free to tune in and, and check them out. And uh, you guys always remember to Stay simple. <laughs> it's not cut, we're still going, but uh, stay simple anyway. <gasps> oh, oh, donuts. We are trying donuts today. It tastes like it smelled. I feel like somebody <laughs> took belly button lint and put oh, it into this donut. Poor thing. It's not that bad. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, just smelled it again. <laughs> Tim Hortons tastes like... We look forward to seeing you on Best Thing Ever hey. next time. Who knows what we're going to be trying. But we'll tell you what's the best and what's the worst.